Welcome to Mosaic, where it's all fun and games outside, but serious business inside to round out week number 10 as a pair of third place teams are looking for an opportunity to separate themselves. Well, quite the story in Ottawa, Dustin Crum, who's in start number four, as I mentioned, and has won two of them. All the three games he started have gone right down to the wire, including the loss last week against the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Begins with second and seven here. Tough down in distance against the Saskatchewan Noise. As Crum looks over the top into the sun, fading over the edge. And holding the back of his head, it's Jalen Acklin, but it looks like he held on to it. A big throw and an even better catch from Acklin. Yeah, 50 plus thus far on the season. Three of three for Ward, the all time leader in CFL accuracy. Field goal, this one is short. Didn't have enough leg, but Mario Alford couldn't get on top of it. Rolls around and decides to take a knee. There is the young Mason Fine getting start number five here in his CFL career. Sean Bain, 41 catches, leads the CFL here in week number nine. Is looking at arm hit, still got it away complete underneath. It's the newcomer stepping in for the injured Brady Lennius. And right away, it's Jared Stearns making an impact. Followed his quarterback Bailey Zappi. NFL success at quarterback there to Western Kentucky. He's loving Mason Fine on this first drive. In the traffic, the hit! Jake Winicky holds on to it. Move the sticks again. He had to earn every bit of it inside the 20. A shot there of Josh Valentine Turner as well. Delray Beach. Oh, Jake, yeah. oh, Jake Dolagala. Big body backup quarterback. It goes hard hands, and I think Lorenzo Molden. Might have jumped. I wondered, Seuss, when we saw they went from Mason Fine into Shea Patterson, and then Dolan Gallo comes off the sideline. You're going, hey, yeah, a little bit of flexibility there. It gives Mason Fine a fresh set of downs. First and goal. Hands it off inside. Jamal Morrow lowers the hammer. Touchdown, Riders. Sent away by Richie Leone. This one high. It'll drive Mario Alford all the way back to his 12-yard line. Makes the first man miss. And the ball is out. Rolling along the sideline. Who was the last touch along that sideline in front of the Red Blacks bench? After automatic review by the command center, it's determined it is Ottawa's ball last touch. First down. Inside the 20. It's 27% of the time they get a major. Brum thought about sending it deep into the back of the end zone. Ties it away and brought down Anthony Lanier. See if Fine goes their direction here. Loads it up quickly, gets it outside. Tevin Jones, stiff arm down the sideline. Gets pushed out of bounds right at the 55. Carl bends this one back, puts the head down. Cariel Brooks comes down from his boundary halfback spot to answer the call and Brooks feeling it a little bit hasn't missed inside 35 yards since week one and this one just an easy chip shot hammers it through max protection here for Crum goes into the slot this one completed but it looks like again it's short of the sticks Nate Bahar gets up disappointed as he looks at where the first down marker is and Fake the run here, fine by himself, leads back by Jake Winnipe, one-on-one -on -one with Justin Howell, and Howell brings him down, but a gain of 17 off the back foot of Mason Fine. Deep drop from Crumb, down he goes! It's late Courtney Moore, finishing it off. Second and long, Crumb loads it up and gets blasted! Brought down Anthony Lanier gets another. Mason Fine. Again, a blitz from the Red Blacks underneath. Great read that time by Fine. Gets it out quickly. Stearns crosses the 55 all the way down for the 47 yard line of the Red Blacks. This time inside. Oh, they fake the run. Outside, Mason Fine slots down. Faked me out of their suits. I thought that it was free running down the middle for Jamal Morrill. Paid the price against one of the hardest hitting halfbacks in the CFL, Cariel Brooks, but Bain holds on. 
Shuffling on the back end. We'll see where Mason finds attacks. Vertical shot. Bain down the field. Hangs it up. Drops it in. Touchdown, Riders. In the first half, when we asked Sean Bain, what route do you like best against man? He goes, I just want to go. Just give me the go route. He just tracked that one down, but a real nice drop in the bucket throw from Fine. Injured Pete Robertson. Meanwhile, Dustin Crom, another check down underneath Williams. He has to do a lot on second and 18. And this Ottawa offense is starting to become a little bit predictable, Suits. Oh, oh on the ground. Picked up. Bryce Carter's got it. Mason Fine lost the exchange in the backfield. Didn't know whether to give it or keep it. And it's a turnover as Fine feeling his left hand. They'd love to add another seven right here. Get back in this ball game. Wow. But it's another sack running around that right edge. It's a trifecta of takedowns for Anthony Lanier. Take the run. Fine. Loads it up outside. Up in the air. Going and getting it. Rob Baltimore will finally touch down Samuel Emelis. But Mason Fine coming out after that botched exchange in the backfield with Jamal Morrow taking a shot down the field for a first down. Lozo lines up at the end here, trying to put pressure on. Pump down the left sideline. Emelis up against oh! on Baltimore, and Emelis gets it. Inside the 10, jump ball, all his. First play of the fourth, looking down the field, catches his own pass. Knocked down into the hands of Fine, who goes for a run. On first and ten, punched down at the line of scrimmage. I'm just making it up. Gain of eight. Leads to second and two. Ball is out. They're going to let it play. Douglas Coleman going back the other direction in a foot race with Samuel Emelis. Touchdown, Red Blacks. The, the officials can stop a play if forward progress is stopped. That's the question, though. Was it stopped when he turned on his back? Or did they let it play because he was still trying to squirm his way for another half yard or two? See, his still, legs were yeah. still kicking there. He was driving the legs forward, and I think that might be the difference in this one, Suits. Crom against pressure. Gets it out. Complete. It's the fullback, Marco Dubois. Just his third catch of the season. All the way out to the 55, and another first down for Ottawa. With a little help. From his backup quarterback, who's going to look to throw. Pigram, fade ball, Jalen Acklin, outside, can't hang on. Got aggressive with it. Mark on the coverage on the outside, one-on-one. -on -one. Pigram, right side, jumps on top of the pile. And there's Dean just stopping that forward progress right there, that 25 official. Didn't get it. Going to be short. Ottawa with all the momentum here. And Saskatchewan needed something. Snap comes up, hand it off, right down the rail. Can they get the stop? Oh, what a tackle. Javon it Santos knocks. It really was. All the momentum was leaning to the 20-yard line. That's what they needed. And the fist held high in the air says, not on my watch. Wow. Dolagala takes it, oh. leans forward. Not a lot of forward momentum. Ottawa oh, might have no. just gotten a stop on third and short. What a moment for the Red Blacks defense. Snap, hold, kick, smooth operation. And the Red Blacks lead. How do you stop Mario Alford? Coverage unit trying to get down the field. He springs it across the 40, stumbles. But that is a great place to start for Mason Fine in the Riders' offense. Uh -huh. Snap is back. Kick is up. He dug into it. It's got the leg. Wow. He hit wow. it. He nailed it. 26 oh. seconds left. Under skies all smoky blue-green in Saskatchewan tonight. Lowther plays hero for the moment. Clock rolling. Snap up. Crumb, pressure on, down he goes! 
And the Red Blacks go back to the line of scrimmage here with five seconds remaining. Will they check it down underneath? Crumb's going to load it up. Gets hit as he throws into traffic. Up for grabs on the turf. Riders win. Even when Ottawa doesn't finish it, they come darn close.